So by definition, any function that has y-axis symmetry is called an even function. And one of those types of functions are f of x equals x squared, which I have graphed right here. And just to, just to make sure you understand about the reflection part, if you take any point and you reflect it over the y-axis, it should wind up right back on the graph. So to demonstrate that, if I reflect this point right here, point B, if I reflect it over the y-axis, it winds up right here. So there's a reflection over the y-axis, and I wind up right back on the graph, right? So here's point C. If I reflect it over the y-axis, he would wind up right here. And point D, right up here, if you reflect it over the y-axis, he'd wind up over here. So any point that you can pick on the graph and reflect it over the y-axis, it winds up right back on the graph. Now, if you take this equation and you move it off, if you take the, uh, the what we call the vertex, if you take the, the vertex or some people call the line of symmetry, if you move that off the y-axis, right? if you move it off the y-axis, it's not going to maintain its y-axis symmetry. So if you move that thing around any left or right, you're going to lose your y-axis symmetry. So if you have a point here now, and you reflect it over the y-axis, it's not on the graph anymore. It's way over here. So if you move the if you move the graph off, if if the graph has been shifted left or right any, you lose your y-axis symmetry and therefore it's no longer an even function. Now you can move the function up and down and you'll still maintain well I can't move it. You can move it up and down and still maintain that uh, even, uh, still maintain that it is an even function. All right. Oh, let me pick the right thing here. You can move it up and down, and you'll still maintain that it is an even function. You can reflect all the y-axis, and it winds up right back on the graph. All right, if you take a point, any point you want, and you reflect that over the y-axis, it's right back on the graph. So you can move it up and down. It can be shifted up and down. And notice how you're shifting it. It's going to be x squared plus a number. It's x squared plus a number. Now, if you shift it left and right, remember what happens there? If you're looking at the graph, well, they've got it expanded out. All right, so if it's just a plus a number on the outside, then that's what you get for a, uh, it still, it still maintains a, an even function. Now, as odd functions, odd function is anything that can be uh, reflected over the origin. It has origin symmetry. So, uh, f of x equals x cubed is an odd function because it maintains origin symmetry. Now to have origin symmetry, you have to take your point and reflect it twice. So if you can reflect this point twice over both axis, axes, reflect it on the y-axis and then reflect it over the x-axis, you'll be back on the graph again. So for instance, if I took this point B and I reflected it over the y-axis, it would be right there. But now if I reflect it again over the x-axis, I'm right back on the graph again. That's origin symmetry. That is origin symmetry. So here's another point on the graph, point C. If I reflect that over the y-axis, you get this guy. If I reflect it over the x-axis, it should be right back here on the graph, which it is. So that is graphically what you look at to see if a function is even or odd. Now note that if you move this guy any which way, if you move it left or right, up or down, you lose origin symmetry. It has to go through the origin. It has to. The graph has to go through the origin. Okay. So if you move, if you shift this at all, it loses origin symmetry. And if you have a function that's neither odd nor even, right, you can't fit them into either category. Then it's it doesn't have any, anything. It's it's neither. So it's it's not binary. It's not even or odd, like all the numbers are either even or odd the integers that is, uh, well, functions can be either uh, even, odd, or neither. Right, so let's look at why it would be, or how you would look at this algebraically. 